Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. It's a beautiful day to be in Jesus. Yes, it is. Brothers and sisters in Christ know that it is, and today we hope to know that too. It truly is a beautiful day to be in Jesus. Oh, and amen, and amen. And one of the reasons why it is, is that we know then that God cares for us. Yes, he does. And in the truth of our humbling ourselves under the mighty hand of God, God will exalt us in due time, is that God cares for us. In 1 Peter 5, we read this. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you, for he careth for you. When we are humbled under the mighty hand of God in our salvation in Jesus Christ, we can cast all our cares to him. Literally the word cast there or casting is to toss over to. We can literally toss over to him all our cares. And what are the cares? Anxieties, fears, all the baggage that we carry, the bags of rocks and all that we have that get in the way of our relationship. We can just toss them over to him. All those anxiety, toss them over to him, casting them to him. Why? Because he careth for you. Now, the care in the first part of that is about our anxieties and all our cares of this world. The care that he cares for us with is a meticulous personal interest. A meticulous personal interest. And when God says a meticulous personal interest, <laughs> he means that. In Matthew chapter 10, and, and, and know something here about this caring. God is a caring God. God cares for all of his creation. There's nothing happening in God's creation today that God does not know about and care about. We learn in this Matthew text, it's actually chapter 10, that God knows when even a sparrow falls to the ground. Even a sparrow doesn't fall to the ground without him. He knows. That's how caring he is about his creation. That even a small sparrow, one that we give a penny to buy, God knows when even one sparrow falls to the ground. And there are so five trillion birds, they estimate, on the face of the earth. And God knows when even one single sparrow falls to the ground. That's how he cares, how meticulously he cares. For his, for his creation, and for us. It is a meticulous caring because the, the verse that follows that is that God even knows the very number of hairs on your head. <laughs> Absolutely, he does. <laughs> God knows the very number of hairs on your head right now, on our, my head, your head, all of our heads together at the same time. He knows them all just right down to there. That's meticulous. That is a meticulous caring. And if you brush your hair right now or pull some out, God still will know how many hairs there are. And 10 minutes later, he'll still know how many hairs there are. He will always know. God is a meticulous and to God. <laughs> he cares, he knows, he understands, he's involved, deeply involved in taking care of you and caring about you today. Oh, and amen. That is a really powerful truth. That is a really powerful truth. We can trust him today 
with all of our cares, with all of our anxieties and hang-ups and phobias and whatever all they are, we can cast them over to him, toss them on over, because he cares about you. From the inside out, God cares about you. Indeed, in our salvation, it begins from the inside out. Born again, Jesus believing, yeah, we believe in Jesus. Is the Lord Jesus who came and bled and died and rose again the third day to save us from our sin. The sin that separates us from our caring God, from a God who cares. Thanks to Jesus, we can know that today. God cares so much that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus came, lived a sinless life, and went to the cross for us taking our sin upon himself, paying the penalty that we might be justified by he who is just and the justifier, the Lord Jesus Christ. God cares so much for you that he has done this for you. The agony of the cross is about more than the blood being poured out, it's also about the suffering of taking upon himself the sins of the world, paying the penalty for them. His blood poured out, innocent blood, to pay the price. He took it all upon himself. There they were nailed to that cross and Jesus bled and died that you might live and have life even more abundantly. That you might know that God cares for you today in the midst of all the trials and tribulations of life and the things that are going on in the world today. God does still care for you. Yes, he does. Regardless of what the world will tell you, oh, God, Gary's an absentee landlord. That's a lie of the devil. God is not an absentee landlord. His very spirit dwells within every believer. Don't let the world lie to you about that kind of stuff. It's junk, it's garbage, and it has no place in the life and mind and heart of the believer. We can, with 100% blessed assurance, Believe that all that God has said is true is true and will come to pass just as he has said it will come to pass. And when he says we believe in him and we're saved and he cares for us and we have a place in heaven, that's the truth. And the world can deny it, reject it, all that you, that's their choice. But we know it's true. And so we tell the world, we tell everybody we can. God loves you. God cares about you. God has done what it takes to save you, that you might know him in a personal relationship, that you might be saved from the sin. What are the wages of sin? Death. But God has a gift for you. The wages of sin we earn, but our salvation is a gift. The gift of God. He has done what it takes to save us from our sin. That which we could never do, for we could never be righteous enough without sin. But God is. And so God enters his own creation, born of a virgin birth, lives the sinless life, righteous, truly righteous and just and able to save us from our sins. A worthy sacrifice to pay a debt we cannot pay. A debt we owe and we can never pay. But Jesus has. 
paid it for us. That's how much God cares for you. And every day in our lives as we walk with him, we see the things going on, and the attacks of the devil come against us and the spiritual warfare gets crazier and crazier and more intense. And we live in perilous times and all of those things that are taking place, God is caring for us in the midst of them. You need not look around and be afraid of the waves of the sea tossing and the winds blowing. Trust the Lord and know with a blessed assurance that he cares for you. And with one word, he can calm the waves, still the winds, and bring us to the shore, safe and sound. Oh, glory be to God. Learn the lessons of his glory and praise, of his truth, of his purpose and place in each of our lives knowing that through all of the lessons, through all of the trials, through all of the tribulations, through every moment of life of giving glory to God, a life of glory to God, God cares for us, has a plan for us, and a place for us in his eternal glory. One amen, one amen. Have a glorious, blessed, and beautiful day knowing Jesus. Amen. Amen.